Have you forgotten how we died? Those men devoured us and left us to wild animals. Men do not deserve pity. He is just like the rest of them. Once upon a time, as the sun dipped below the horizon, the ghost market came alive. It is the time set aside for the dead, the restless souls. Among them, two sisters named Obioma and Omachi. It is no news in the village of Okagi that no human is meant to be found at these markets at this time of the night. But unaware to the hunter, an unfamiliar custom of the Okaji village arrived to sell his bushmeat. To his surprise, he found the market deserted except for the two women, Obioma and Omachi. He laughed and walked among the stores. He was captivated by their beauty, enchanted by their body. They were as beautiful as the sunset, eyes like the color of the sea, something the hunter has never seen before, a true rare beauty. He approached them. In that moment, the hunter forgot that the market was empty and he could only see just two women. It is said that their beauty blurred his vision. Without taking too much time, the hunter made his interest known. However, with a mischievous glint in her eyes, Omachi proposed that if he wished to marry one of them, then he must marry the both of them. The hunter could not believe his ears, but he felt as though the gods was about to reward him for all the hard work he has done in his life. And with the hunter accepting the proposal, Obioma and Omachi decided to take him to their father. At that moment, they began their journey. As they journeyed deeper into the woods, the hunter's skepticism waned, but replaced by curiosity, eventually, they reached a hut deep in the forest where Obioma announced, We have arrived. Come inside and meet my father. The old man welcomed them in, and he questioned the hunter about his intentions for his daughters. But there is only so much a man can say if he looks it. He was strong, rich, and powerful. Who could say he wouldn't take care of two women? Of course he could. After listening to what the hunter had to say, the father agreed to give the daughter's hands in marriage. Set to start the journey to their husband's village at dawn. Thanks to the peace and kindness of the knights, Obioma dragged Omachi to the corner and whispered to her, we are dead. If the hunter lays with us, he will be cursed. He will be doomed to die a horrible death. We are dead. The man does not seem like an evil person. He is kind to us. Omachi, we should let him go. Omachi, irritated by what her sister was saying, she responded, have you forgotten how we died? Those men, the devourers, left us for the dead. The wild animals, they did what they wanted with our bodies. Men do not deserve pity. Do not pity him. He's just like the rest of them. It didn't take long before the dawn came and off they went to their new home with the hunter, their new husband. Did the dead sisters live with the hunter? Did the hunter die? What eventually happened? If you want to find out, stay tuned for the part two. See you in the next part of the story. Thanks for watching.